This is a demonstration of using Flyway to manage the scripts and the schemas for an Oracle database. I'm going to show you this with the database in the cloud. And using Developer Cloud Service to automate this process and the DevOps of the database. So first, a few words about Flyway. It's a utility that you download from the internet. It's based on Java and you'll get a directory structure that looks like this, which is what you need in order to maintain your SQL files um, in a proper way. There are a few directories you need to know about. One of them is called the conf. Over here you have configuration files that define your connection to a database. I'm going to use two databases in my case. One of them is a MySQL database. So over here you'll find my JDBC URL for connecting to my database. This is running on my local machine and the username and password for connecting to that database. The other directory is the drivers directory. This is where you have the JDBC drivers for your database. If you're going to use an Oracle database, you should have the Oracle JDBC driver added over here. It's not coming with the default installation of Flyway. And then the other interesting directory is the SQL directory. In the SQL directory, I have the scripts for my database creation and the population the database can also be achieved through those scripts. So I actually have those scripts also available for you over here from SQL Developer, for example. So I'm viewing the same directory. You'll see that each file has a name, v1 underscore, actually two underscores, and then a description of what the file does. So this file, for example, goes over and creates a person table. Okay. Uh, this file goes over and populates this table. So you can see that we're advancing the version number of the files. Um, each file can do additional changes to the database. Right, let me copy this because I'm going to need it in a few seconds. And let's see what's the status of our database is right now. Uh, one way to know it is if you go over and you run the flyway info command against your database. And as you can see, I can see that my database is now in version 2.2 of my schema after running all of those um, descriptions. Right? So those descriptions you can see are mapped pretty nicely to those file names. I can see when they were run and what was their status after they run. So now let's see a normal workflow. Um, I'm using Developer Cloud Service and in Developer Cloud Service one of the things I might have is a list of tasks that are assigned to me. And one of those tasks, as I can see, is we need a new job table. Okay, so I can click on it, I can see the information about the task, I can see that we need a jobs table, I need an ID, I need a name. So I can go ahead and do this work. To do this, I'm going to go over to my database, oh sorry, to my SQL directory, and create a new SQL file. We're going to keep the naming convention, so v, this time we're going to create version 3, two underscores, and then what we're going to do, create job table dot sql okay let's paste the create table for person but this time we're going to use a uh, jobs as a name for our table okay and uh, maybe jobs can have a little shorter description over here all right so we can save this file if we now go by the way and rerun flyaway on our machine and the info status we'll see that we have one job pending and this is for actually creating the table in our database. Um, if I want to actually populate my database, instead of using the info command, I'm going to use the migrate command. This would take and migrate my database to version 3. Okay. If I now do an info, I can see that this ran successfully. Furthermore, if I actually go to my database, refresh the view, I'll see my jobs table available over here. So nice, um, we're at a stage where our local test, uh, our local job is done. Now we actually want to DevOps this all the way to our production database. So my directory with the scripts is version managed using Git, okay? And it's connected to the repository that I have in developer cloud service over here in the cloud. And if you look right now in our SQL directory, you're not going to see version 3 because this file has just been added. So what I need to do is push this update to my uh, main repository. So to do that, I'm going to do a commit. 
um, well first let's add this file okay because we want to specifically add this file then the next step is to do a commit for this file we can have a description so I uh, added a jobs table okay and then the next step is to push this to the cloud okay securely connect to our git repository and I'm going to push it directly into the master branch of our code we completed our push so if we go back here we'll see that we added this to our repository can actually click see the change so there's a new file if I go back to my code repository navigate to the SQL my new file is over there now the other interesting thing that happened when I pushed this update is that a job was queued for us okay so you can see it's automatically queued based on my push so let's see the description of what this job actually does okay so this is a build job using JDK 8 that is connected to our source control okay and specifically to our master branch over there and then this job is going to be triggered when someone pushes and changes our software configuration management basically our git repository is changed and as a result we're invoking this job what are we doing in this job? I'm going to actually do two steps. Okay, so I'm using here um, actually running Java and running the command line okay, for um, Flyway. Okay, and you'll find this command in my blog that relates to this video. And I'm going to do an info and then I migrate on my database. This time I'm connecting to a database that is in the cloud it's an oracle database in the cloud okay and i'm passing username password is a parameter of type password uh, that i add to my build so this is a more secured way to have your build configured this way your password are not hard coded here for people to see okay so this build we can see just finished now and for 56 seconds was successful let's look at the console okay went over and executed basically got the code from the git repository and then executed the info command showing us that hey the database that we were connecting to still didn't run the create job table okay then it went over and did the migrate and basically created the jobs table now to prove this again go back to SQL developer and instead of looking in my local database let's look at my cloud database and refresh the view here and voila we have the jobs table inside our cloud database so you can see how very easily a change to our script once we committed it into our git repository can be then automatically applied to other databases down the road getting them all to the same status uh, same structure as what we meant to do so now that this is done we can go back into developer cloud service into the task that was assigned to me and I can actually um, change the status of the task to indicate this task is now resolved and that's the full development lifecycle with Flyaway, Oracle database in the cloud and Oracle developer cloud service